What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are checking out what is probably one of the most beautiful convertible cars ever built. This is the Alfa Romeo 8C Spider. It is a 2010 car. They were built from 2009 and only 500 of these were built. Uh, of course, it is the Spider version of the 8C Competizione which they also made 500 of and uh, well they are two of the most beautiful cars ever made in my opinion i absolutely love them we filmed the coupe 10 years ago over 10 years ago for our channel we didn't get to drive that car but we made some awesome videos with it uh, go check it out on our channel if you're interested but today we borrowed this car at robo exclusive cars uh, a very nice relatively young company with a lot of cool cars and they actually have three of these eight c's in stock right now so they've got this one they've got a red spider which has been sold and then they've also got a racing yellow eight c coupe uh, which is outrageously cool they only made eight of those uh, in that color so i mean go buy that car if you have the money because that car will be half a million euros in a couple of years uh, I think so we got there this morning and after they moved to other Italian beauties this car came out for us to enjoy today so big thanks to robel uh, go check them out i'll link their website in the description so the 8c spider wow it is still so gorgeous as i said it's a 2010 car so it's 11 years old but it's still so freaking gorgeous and the, the design is just timeless it was designed by a guy called Wolfgang Egger, the Competizione, the, the coupe. Apparently the story is that he just drew it, he, he designed it, and then he had a couple of scale models made, and then he showed that to Alfa Romeo management uh, without their knowing. And that really does make it extra cool. And it was designed to look like the awesome uh, Alfa Romeos from the 1920s and 30s. Now this Spider version was announced because they had such an incredible reception of the Competizione that they thought, well, okay, let's make 500 more because we're, we're definitely going to sell those. Um, and they got 1,200 orders for this car when they announced it. Uh, only 500 were made, so 700 people were disappointed, unfortunately. But it is absolutely gorgeous still. And most of the body is carbon fiber, so it is a true full-blown thoroughbred supercar if you ask me so we've got these 20 inch wheels uh, they are not like the classic design with the round spokes uh, these are a little bit more classic but they do fit the spider very well i would say and then behind that we've got carbon ceramic brakes from brembo uh, with black brake calipers um, moving on we've got a little air vent here little badge and then we've got black mirrors black uh, surrounds around the window this is also carbon fiber uh, the coupe has an all carbon fiber roof so when they made the spider they had to strengthen the car they did so by creating a couple of beams that connect the rear and front subframe like that and then we've got a couple of cross braces from the suspension towers front and rear as well uh, which really strengthens up the car and makes it a lot more rigid and uh, it does make it 90 kilos heavier than the coupe but still it's 1650 kilos so it's still not bad but there is just no bad angle for this car it really doesn't matter where you go and look it just looks stunning i honestly think that this is the most beautiful car from the last like 50 years the the, the coupe and the spider are both incredible okay so um carbon fiber body i can show you guys that a lot of the, these panels are in fact carbon fiber there it is really beautiful oh by the way <laughs> there's not a lot of storage 
you can take a lot of luggage with you uh, on your trips because you can see that there's nothing behind the seats and there's nothing here it's basically one bag not too big and apparently Alfa Romeo really wanted it to be a 2 plus 2 but uh, Wolfgang the designer said no because it would ruin the looks of the car and well I agree so for the spider what they also did is that they moved the fuel tank forward to improve the weight distribution of course because you have a lot more weight uh, on the spider so they did a couple of things one of them is that fuel tank that moved forward to give it a perfect 50 50 weight distribution again so this car this platform is basically a shortened maserati platform and it's got the engine as well so this is the 4.7 liter v8 that you find in a Quattroporte or a Gran Turismo with 450 horsepower and 470 newton meters of torque. You can see the cross bracing here, really gorgeous as well. And this engine linked to this exhaust, this is also bare carbon here, very cool. But this engine with this exhaust is outrageous. Now, in addition to being one of the most beautiful cars, it is also one of the best sounding cars. So I'll start it up and let you guys hear that because it is insane. So. Valves open. That is insane. So, on the interior, um, we have a lot of carbon again. So the entire dash here is carbon fiber, absolutely beautiful with this satin matte finish. And then we've got this piece of aluminium, which is solid and machined. So all these parts have been cut out and then this has been beautifully machined and then we've got a little plaque here that says hc spider 500 limited edition and we've got these seats which are from a ferrari enzo with beautiful leather that has been chosen because it absorbs less heat for the convertible which is super smart and then beautiful carbon on the doors as well you can see that the entire door here the panel all carbon fiber with this gorgeous braided leather aluminium door handles absolutely gorgeous really really beautiful and then we've got this alpha steering wheel which is as hard as rocks which is kind of strange so we'll yeah we'll go for sport and manual okay we're going to turn around as you can see we are at a new place so i'm just going to discover uh, drive around and see if we can find a nice piece of road whilst enjoying this amazing car which is an honor to drive i mean again big thanks to robel because this is so special this sound oh. <laughs> oh man it it is very hard to describe why this is so special why this sound is so special but if I had to take a guess or try to explain it it's a very deep sound it's not insanely loud but it sounds like nothing else you could put 15 v8 powered supercars next to each other and you would be able to recognize this sound and the other thing that's really recognizable is that you have this little pause in between the shifts because the shifts are not that quick Oh, these crackles but this pause 
and it, it sounds a bit messy. You have that crackle on the overrun, but you also have that crackle in the shift sometimes, especially when you have it in, I think that's in automatic mode. Oh, that sounds insane. little pause in between like the gears and you have that little crackle in there and that is absolutely quintessential 8c sound now oh the gearbox does get a little quicker the, f the further you go up the rev range but I don't think it gets as quick as it does in like a MC Stradale so performance 4.4 seconds to 100 top speed 295 kilometers an hour but it's really not about those numbers it is about the fact that oh this car it just speaks to you what what kind of beautiful road is this by the way Martijn well done he, he did find this road pretty quickly um, but the feeling this car gives you is just second to none and apparently the concept car had a 4.2 liter uh, V8 also from Maserati and apparently they were thinking about putting a supercharger on that engine for this car but I'm actually glad that they didn't because I think this 4.7 liter naturally aspirated fits this car really well I don't think I've ever had this much fun in a car going this slowly. It just doesn't really matter. It's just... Oh. Now, of course, this spider version came a lot later than the coupe it was i think about three years and in that time it took them quite a long time to figure out how to do this how to build this car but it also gave them the opportunity to improve the car and they really did so apparently this car they stiffened up the springs and softened the dampers to give it a more supple character and also you know they had to account for the weight increase of 90 kilos they changed the steering to make it feel less nervous and apparently it is quite a big difference and this spider the driving feel is a lot better apparently i mean i haven't driven a coupe so i can't really judge that but that seems to be the case which is really cool okay let's turn around here oh man those downshift crackles are insane now a big coincidence actually is that we drove the mc stradale last week the gran turismo which is you know a car that has a lot in common with this one but they feel completely different this car you know it's it's not really aimed at driving performance like that Gran Turismo is it it's not a super quick car we did 10 something 100 to 200 so it's really not about that it's oh 
it is just driving around. Oh, and enjoying this sound. So when this car came out, it was more expensive than an F430 Ferrari. It was very, very expensive. The Spider was, I think it started at like 300,000 euros in the Netherlands. So it was very, very expensive and prices dropped quite a bit. I think we saw one for sale for like 130 or 140,000 euros. Martijn told his dad to buy one because he thought that they were going to go up in value. Well, they are back at the 300,000 euro mark now. Uh, so 10 years later or eight years later. And I think they will go up further because it is such a special car. It really doesn't disappoint. Oh, brake pedal is a bit mushy, but you do feel that there is a lot of performance behind the pedal. But, man. What an honor to be driving this car. I really feel, I feel so privileged when I drive this kind of car. And it, it does live up to the hype. This is outrageous, man. It, it is even better than I can remember. So this is why this is such a classic car and why this is a modern classic and is going to go up in value. It is jaw-droppingly beautiful. And it has this insane soundtrack that, that feels so mechanical. That little pause in the upshifts, that little crackle you get. The sound is so old school and is so satisfying and, and touches you on the inside as a petrol head, as a car lover. It really does. It moves you and very few cars do that nowadays so that is why this is a legend and it will always be a legend so that's it for this review guys i hope you enjoyed it i want to thank global exclusive cars one more time for allowing us to have a go in this beautiful 8c spider it is for sale so if you're interested go check it out i'll link them in the description below uh, you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle right there you can also check out this video or go check out this playlist see you at the next one bye